Hey, I'm Jake Wesley Rogers, and you're tuned in to Ones to Watch Northside Sessions. I believe you when you lie to me. You should know that by now. You weave your words inside of me. He keeps calling me his little queen Baby's always doing big believe Every night I could have sweet or speak Cause he don't like the way he used to be and There's a fire in the apple tree A perfect stranger lying next to me He's playing God with poker figurines He keeps calling me his little queen I don't think we're separate 
I think we're connected You and I You and I Oh Can anybody hear me? Is anybody listening? If you hear me I want you to sing Sing with me Sing Amen Come on Sing amen, come on. Sing amen, sing amen. Sing amen, sing amen. Sing amen. Got it. Amen. Come on now. Sing amen. Last year has been really exciting. I have um, written an EP, recorded it, and released it, and started playing a lot more shows. So it's been very creative and exciting and fun going into this this new chapter of my my artistic life. I would describe my music as kind of like left of center pop, which with like a huge emphasis on uh, lyrics and. Um, autobiographical writing, kind of about spirituality and um, queerness. And at least lately, that's those have been the hot topics, because <laughs> that's been my life lately. My last EP came out pretty recently. It's called Spiritual. Um, and it was kind of a culmination of the past, kind of growing up in Missouri, in the Bible Belt, figuring out who I am, talking about indiscretions, and, all those things from like a older, little bit wiser perspective. Um, I think my favorite song on it is honestly a song called The Pretender, which is a story song about kind of like my first like unrequited love in a little bit. And it's something I never thought was worthy of a song. I was like, it's about me being like 14, 15. And, uh, it was really beautiful because I felt like I was kind of embracing a younger me who was lost and scared, and I was able to kind of like connect to that past. It's really, it, every time I've performed it, it's been like I've been overcome with emotion. I just kind of like, it feels very full circle, like I'm connected to everything that's kind of gotten me here. Even though it's about this like one specific person that truly doesn't matter at all anymore to me, but um, I think it's the, the intention behind it that. Um, that I just, I feel very present when I sing it. And I, it, it does feel cathartic and even a little bit healing every time. Even before I had like come out to anyone, I was writing lyrics with he pronouns. Like it was, it was like, I think it's my ability to kind of like bypass that wall between the conscious and the subconscious. For some reason, it's just like, not all the time, but sometimes, when I've written like my favorite things, it's like I have this direct link to a deeper part of myself. And, and I mean, on this past EP, I, I wrote about stories that really only a handful of people knew. Um, and then I remember the first time I played it. And it, it was scary, but it really like, I was like, oh, this is, this is meant to be. I think it's because it gave me control over the situation and like how to, how to talk about those things. I think my biggest musical inspirations have been like Stevie Nicks and uh, Lady Gaga. I would love to open for Stevie Nicks. <laughs> <laughs> if someone's ever gonna meet me and they're just gonna hear my music, I would, I would want them to walk away at least thinking 
this person was completely authentic and um, was not afraid to speak their truth um, and make it in a beautiful way, um, which is kind of my like artistic mission statement is just to like put put all of me into a product and make it something that it, that's greater than even my experience and make it something that's more powerful and more moving um, than what I even have to say. Uh, next for me, I'll be playing a lot more shows. I'll be playing in Europe this fall. Um, and then I'll come back and play more shows and start releasing more music.